Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another weekly tip video. Now, this app has achieved cult status within the Mac community with almost every podcaster and content creator I know using it. Yet it seems like such a functional app by the name. So I wanted to show you why people love it so much. And that's pCalc. That's right, a cool, useful calculator application. Now, it's developed by James Thompson, a fellow Brit who's based in Scotland, and it's available on macOS, iOS, and iPadOS primarily, as well as a tvOS and watchOS version as well. Now, due to the lack of a native calculator app on iPad, that's the version that I'm going to cover today. Okay, I'm here in the App Store, and there are two versions of pCalc available. We have pCalc Lite, which does the job of a basic calculator for you, and offers the extra features that come with the full version of pCalc by way of in-app purchases that you can unlock. Then to the left of that, we have the full version, which is £8.99 and $9.99, I believe, in the US. So I'm going to pause now and install. OK, it's installed and this is the interface. So let's split it up a little. On the lower half of the screen, we have the keypad and that itself is pretty much split really into two. So if I just put an imaginary line down here to the right, you have your basic buttons. And then to the left, there's lots of these special formula type buttons that you need when you're carrying out some really specific functions. That's not always an exact split here. Sometimes the function type buttons do bleed across. It depends on what view you're in. OK, above the buttons, we have the display. And then along the top, we have some special buttons on the left, which we will, of course, cover shortly. Then on the right, we have two buttons. We have tape and reg that carry out a couple of different functions, as well as an undo and a help button. So let's start using pCalc. So I'll key in something simple, 785. I multiply that by 3, then equals. And the result is displayed in a lovely bright font there. Now at the top here is the tape button. And if I tap that, this shows a pane on the left, and this will show you like an audit trail of the calculations that you make, as well as the date and time to the nearest minute that you made it. I'll do another longer calculation now. And we can see the different steps have been spelled out with the answer at the bottom. Let's just do one more quickly. I'll do 74, then press this X squared button here. And the answer is there, and we can see it says square in the tape rather than the X squared symbol, which makes it a lot easier to read as well. You can swipe right on the display to work your way back through the tape. And of course, if you swipe left, that's going to redo it, as it were, and bring those steps back in. The default view that we have for the buttons here is decimal mode, but we can switch to hexadecimal, to octal, and finally to binary mode, where you can see all of the standard decimal or base 10 numbers here have been switched to their binary equivalents. I'll just put it back to decimal. And if I tap on second, it shows a second page of available buttons dependent on the mode that you are in. And just one useful button here on this view is the exponent button that allows you to add trailing zeros. So if I type seven, then EXP and the number of zeros that I want, we can see that that number appears. And if I want to clear everything from the tape on the left, I'll press AC for all clear. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.